Today, in the town of East Cleveland, Ohio, police charged a registered sex offender with murder after the bodies of three women were discovered. Michelle Miller is there. It was a call about a bad smell that led police to this abandoned home and garage. Two of the bodies were found here. The third victim was found in an overgrown field about 100 yards away. All were wrapped in plastic bags and killed within the past two weeks. East Cleveland Mayor Gary Norton. As a community, we are dealing with tragedy. We are healing and we are strong. The suspect is Michael Madison. One of the bodies was found near his car. Shortly after his arrest, groups of neighbors pitched in to help look for more bodies. Plywood was pried off windows and doors of 40 foreclosed homes to conduct a room by room search. Fortunately, with the grace of God, there was not another victim found yesterday. Investigators say Madison told them he was inspired by a serial killer from Cleveland's past, Anthony Sowell. Sowell was convicted in 2011 for murdering 11 women and burying them in and around his home. He's now on death row. If you want to commit a crime, East Cleveland is the perfect place to commit a crime. Eric Wilson helped with this weekend search. In a community like this where you have all these abandoned uh, houses, you don't know who to blame because everybody's poor. It just don't seem like there's enough money or resources to really make this place as safe as everybody envisioned it to be, as safe as everybody know it can be. In May, three women were rescued after a decade of captivity in this rundown Cleveland home. Ariel Castro is charged with chaining them up and beating and raping them. Eric Wilson told us people here feel like they live in what he calls a criminal fantasy world, where anything goes behind shuttered doors and windows. It is a helpless situation because when you don't have the resources to move out of a place like this, you, and you're trapped. And Madison's relationship with the women has not been made public. Police have identified one of the victims. She was 38-year-old Angela Deskins and Scott. She'd been missing since June 7th. Michelle, thank you.